it's unbelievable to say that out loud, that 15 years have gone by. To be now here with Derek, going back into the cast recording, hearing the brilliant artistry that those great performers brought to the album, and now getting a chance to find some new treasures, some surprises, it's pretty astounding. And I love the, the tail of the guitar, too. Yeah. It's like... What does it do? That's what that is. Cast recordings, no matter when you do them, are pretty fast. <laughs> and even though I was quite proud of it, as I listened to it, I just felt a little bit like I didn't sit with it in the way that, that I should have and, and didn't necessarily identify at the time certain things that I now would fight for. It didn't feel like it kind of snarled at you when, when you wanted it to. It felt a little laid back sonically. So I said to Derek, I want to feel this crackle. I want to feel like all of the songs have the urgency of the story. I wanted to have a sweet spot of capturing the show, but also making a sonically rich, exciting record, as if Next to Normal is a band. I can honestly say when I heard the first mixes, I cried a number of times because that's exactly what he did. Tom basically like took the leash off and was like, just push it when it needs to be pushed. Let the beautiful score that, that Tom wrote, let that speak for itself. And I followed it more than doing anything special. It was mostly in the writing and then just leaning into the, the, the spots and where I saw fit. Why don't we look at um, Just Another Day? We talked about the band and that it's, it's, it's a rock song, but it's going in and out of different uh, dynamics. This hit that comes, the drum feels bigger than it ever felt, right yeah. here. It just has... Yeah. It has like a tail to it. It yep. has something like it hits, but it feels like it, something it almost explodes. And that was on purpose. I had split the snare out yep. and added like a, it's, it is literally only in that one section. And it wants that. It yep. wants to feel that. You end up with that like cannon leading into the, to the end of the song. The biggest thing for me were the guitars and the drums. Once you crack those open, then everything else kind of starts to fall into place. I'm Alive is a song oh, yeah. where we did have that second guitar. Mm -hmm. And I think on that one, I just said, I didn't have any clear directive. I just was curious to see what you were going to bring to it. Brian Yorkie and I, especially for the character, we talked a lot about The Who. Interesting. Yeah. When I yeah. I mean, that just, I after hearing you say The Who, I he totally hear that. But it is just that, like, a lot of melody, but really driving drums the electric guitar that's always accompanied with like an acoustic guitar yep. you know it's just it's just that classic oh, I live for that sound it's so it's so it's so awesome that's where my ear always goes towards is like the guitar i usually end up mixing guitars way too loud which is why it's been fun on this to go like yeah more guitars more please guitar. no i'm alive i'm alive i'm so alive this absolutely feels like the definitive version of the next normal cast recording the things that we have done feel so undeniably beautiful and and exciting and will make what people love about it go even further. I hear something in Next to Normal that, that feels like an old friend stopping by to say, hey, don't forget, you had this moment and you always need to be chasing this in yourself, whatever it might lead to. I'm just extremely, extremely proud of it.